Hello, I am back. I'm Kirk Weiler and this is eMath Instruction. I wanted to welcome you with a short video to talk to you a little bit about our new Common Core Algebra 2 that's coming up. So this video is going to walk you through a little bit of what this course is going to be about, what we're going to be bringing out this spring and this summer, heading into new next year's first year of implementation of the Common Core at the Algebra 2 level. Let's take a look at the course a little bit. So we've got a workbook coming out and it's going to have all sorts of great topics in it like more work with functions, exponential and logarithmic, sequences and series, imaginary numbers, those can't be real, polynomials, periodic functions, and a lot of work with probability and statistics. It's an exciting course. There's a lot of great topics in it, a lot of fun things to take a look at. Of course, eMath Instruction is going to be here. We're going to be here with our typical wonderful worksheets that we've got, and of course, my, my typical terrible handwriting. Whoa. Well, all right. Maybe it's not typically that bad, but we all know how great those graphs are. I'm sure you probably don't have to pause the video, but let me get rid of the text anyway. So we're going to have our worksheets. They're already over at our website. And the videos are going to be back. I've spent a lot of my spring break recording some videos. In fact, here's one now. Hello and welcome to another Common Core Algebra 2 lesson by eMath Instruction. My name is Kirk Weiler and today we're going to be doing Unit 2, Lesson Number 5 on one okay. to one function. I think we've seen enough of that guy. So, hey, there's lots of different at types least of there's new today. theme music and at least I'm not wearing the same shirt each time. So, you got to think of that as a plus. There's a lot of other things though. You can visit us over at our website, right? Typical eMath Instruction website. And if you want to see a lot of the updates that are coming out right now, you can go to our forum, right? Just click on that forum button. It'll take you right over there. Then you can scan many of the different topics that we have. Of course, if you're interested primarily in Algebra 2, definitely click on the Algebra 2 category and it'll take you to the Algebra 2 archives. Scroll down in those archives a bit and eventually you'll come across where we've posted the entire first draft of Common Core Algebra 2. It's full of typos at this point, but by, as the uh, spring kind of wears on and as we head into the summer, we'll be getting rid of all of those just in time for August of 2015. I'm excited about a lot of other things in terms of Common Core Algebra 2. In the whole last year since Common Core Algebra 1 came out, there's a lot more resources out there. One of my favorites is a, is a website called Desmos. We'll be looking at that a lot. In fact, we'll be doing some work where we'll take a look at polynomials and how they behave um, and how their, their, their graphs are related to the factored form of the polynomial. We'll also be doing work with trig functions. We'll be taking a look at how different parameters of trig functions affect the way their graphs look and behave. So there's lots of new things that are out there right now. A lot of ways that we're going to get to explore this course from statistical simulation to Desmos to a lot of other great things that will allow us to, to really play around with the math ideas at this level. So I'm excited about it. Common Core Algebra 2 is going to be a challenging course. Um, the first year that it's out there, we don't exactly know what to expect, especially if you're in New York State. I've tried to do my best taking a look at the park end-of-year standards for Common Core Algebra 2 and build a course that can serve as a backbone, one that teachers can rely on to cover the standards that we know are going to be assessed, but at the same time one that gives you enough freedom with only around 100 lessons to build around it, supplement it as you choose. I hope the lessons, the homework sets, and the videos help both teachers and students navigate this very, very difficult course. Those of us who have taught Algebra 2 for years know how difficult of a subject it can be. And these days, with almost all students expected to take Algebra 2 as a ticket to college, well, we want to try to do it right. All right, well, that's enough for this introductory video. I'll let the theme music take me out. As always, I'm Kirk Weiler. This is eMath Instruction. Until next time, keep thinking and keep solving problems. <laughs>